Najee, Black Art in America, currently here with Dr. Michael Samunga. How you doing, brother? Doing great. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Good to have you here at the Congressional Black Caucus. What's on your mind these days? Well, I came up to Washington to the Congressional Black Caucus weekend because it's an important gathering of black people from across the spectrum in America. It's hosted every year by the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. I'm here with Third World Press this weekend because we have several books that we are just putting into the marketplace that are important books for the African American community and for America at large. Uh, one of them that I co-edited with Lita Hooper and Sonia Sanchez is called 44 and 44. This the anthology of writing of 44 great writers from the African American community on the election of the 44th president. And it's an important book for us to deal with now because, one, there's no book like it that exists. And we need to remember what happened in 2008 consider where we are now and prepare for what we need to do next year. Um, the other book is called By Any Means Necessary, a uh, conversation about um, Malcolm X and the, the new biography by Manny Marvel, Professor Manny Marvel. And that's again an anthology in, that I contributed to that's edited by Hakeem Adabuki, Ron Daniels, Herb Boyd, and Maulana Karinga. So we're up here promoting those books, but I'm also meeting with people from across the country to talk about the state of the culture in the African American community. Um, particularly art in schools and education, but also art as a political tool and weapon to help us remain connected to our cultural roots and our cultural memory to help us remember and move forward based upon what we've done in the past. Um, we have a lot of people despairing these days, feeling like we are meeting challenges or facing challenges that we can't overcome, but it's important that we remember that we come from a strong, very important culture that it's always moved forward, that it's always believed, it's always been faith-driven, it's always been steeped in the tradition that in our songs, in our stories, in the way that we walk, in the way that we look at life, that our culture and our art has always affirmed that we will be successful in what we do. So this is a critical time for, for African-American artists because we have to speak the voice of people who don't have a voice. We have to present the stories, the images, the thought, the feeling, the interior life of our community so that the world knows who we are at this point in history, who we've been, but also what is our vision for the future. And so this is part of the work that I do, that we as artists have a, a sacred responsibility to make sure that the voice gets heard in the various disciplines and mediums that we work in. And if we continue to do that, we will always be able to draw upon a deep resource and a deep reservoir of strength that comes from a culture that has been a culture of survival, but it's also been a culture of struggle, but it's also been a culture of success. That every generation of our people in this country has always moved us forward, and this generation will do it too. But it's our obligation as artists to make sure that we continue to be that voice and to give voice to our people, especially those who don't have a voice right now. Mm. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.